Hello, I am Dozier Mills with Stromquist and Company, and today I'm going to show you Prolon's commercial high-end residential HVAC control systems. Prolon has several HVAC controllers to meet your needs. The, M the NC2000 network controller, the M2000 can be configured for any needs, the VC2000PI with flow control, the T2000 sensor, the VC2000, which does not have flow, and the T1000 LCD circular touch. Can be configured for any rooftop needs. Remote access makes it wonderful. And can be addressed by dip switches to address to your needs. LAN network configurations can be set up for any boilers, rooftops, heat pumps, downloads for your firmware, Prolon, and here is a video to show you some insulation. Have a great day from Strong Quest and Company. Hi, today we'll show you how to install and configure a Prolon VC2000 VAV terminal unit controller. The Prolon VC2000 is specially designed for VAV terminal unit applications. Its powerful built-in actuator and full complement of inputs and outputs make it a fully integrated solution for VAV or VVT applications. In today's video, we'll see how to set up a VC2000 for automatic heating and cooling changeover using a duct temperature sensor, and also how to set up terminal heating. The VC2000 uses a highly sophisticated built-in Bellimo actuator, which makes it installation quick and easy. Before setting up, validate the damper opening direction of the terminal unit by looking at the mark on the end of the damper shaft. Make sure the damper is fully closed before proceeding. Next, ensure that the VC2000's mounting clamp is also in the closed position and matches the opening direction of the damper. Slip the clamp over the damper shaft, tighten the mounting nuts and install the anti-rotation bracket with self-tapping screws. While pressing the clutch button on the front of the VC2000, make sure the clamp and damper assembly move freely over the entire span of the damper rotation. If needed, use the end stoppers to limit the actuator's travel so it matches that of the damper blade. Install the duct temperature sensor at the box's inlet. Now wire the duct sensor to the analog input on terminals 13 and 14. Using a four conductor cable, connect the digital wall sensor to the controller. All Prolon digital wall sensors have identical wiring terminals, so they all hook up the same way. The easiest way to wire the sensor is by removing the front plate from its mounting base and then pulling off the four pin connector itself. Once all four wires are screwed in, put the connector back in its pins and clip the sensor back on the wall. If the VC2000 controls any terminal heating equipment, make sure to connect it to the appropriate output. If your equipment requires a dry contact to be enabled, connect it to the VC2000's digital output on terminals 5 and 6. If instead your equipment needs a live 24 VAC signal to be enabled, then first insert a wire jumper between terminals 4 and 5, and then connect your equipment to terminals 3 and 6. Finally, if your equipment requires a modulating 0 to 10 VDC signal, Connect it on the VC2000's analog output on terminals 7 and 8. You are now ready to power up the VC2000 with 24 VAC through terminals 1 and 2. Terminal 1 is the common, while terminal 2 is your live supply power. Ensure that the common terminal is grounded. Upon initial power-up, Various pilot lights on the VC2000 illuminate to confirm different functions of the controller. The blue power and heartbeat lights confirm normal operation. The yellow status light indicates the damper opening direction. 
The combined red and green lights will blink to validate the communication link between the controller and its digital wall sensor. The ambient temperature displaying on the wall sensor also confirms communication has been established. The red light displays the digital output status. The orange light displays the analog output status. Now that installation is complete, here are a few tests you might want to perform to validate the proper operation of your controller. Check that the opening direction of the damper blade is the same as the controller's. You can confirm the controller's damper opening direction by observing the status light upon initial power-up. Should the actuator open in the wrong direction, here's how you invert it. First, unpower the controller by pulling out the supply terminal block. Press and hold the service button on the front of the controller using a screwdriver. While pressed, reconnect the supply terminal block, then release the button. Notice the status light's behavior, confirming a different sense of rotation. As you may have noticed, the installation and startup of a VC2000 controller is fairly quick and easy. To learn more about the capabilities of this amazing controller, we invite you to watch our next video presentation, Navigating the Menus on the Prolon Digital Wall Sensor.